Hi, this is Jim Weiss from Sabre. I hope you're doing well during COVID. I um, today want to read you just a little bit um, the ending of a poem from uh, Tennyson, uh, Ulysses. You're probably familiar with it. At the end, he writes, Though much is taken, much abides, and though we are now not that strength which in old days moved earth and heaven, that which we are, we are, one equal temper of heroic hearts, made weak by time and fate, but strong in will to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. It's an amazing statement for an old man. But today I would add something else, to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield, and to bake. So today I'm showing you something I baked earlier this morning. This is a Cypriot cake with a twist, an orange twist. And uh, normally you show the whole cake, right, from both ends, but I couldn't wait. It was so delicious. And I'm gonna tell you more about it in a few minutes. Last night I watched a new program, a series that was filmed about four years ago uh, with Paul Hollywood, uh, who is a celebrity chef from England, uh, who was one of the tough judges on the British Baking Show. You may remember him, crystal blue eyes, looked tough as nails, and hardly ever gave out a compliment. But they've hired him in sort of a, um, I would say they've taken the format uh, that Anthony Bourdain had and put um, Hollywood into it. And it goes pretty well. I watched him in Reykjavik, uh, which was fascinating. And I, I watched him last night in Cyprus. You know, the island that's in the middle of the north of Egypt, south of Turkey, east of Greece. Uh, and it has, I can't believe it, it has 800 and some 50,000 people who live there. And as you know, the northern part, the Turks came into the northern part, the Greeks have got the southern part, and there's this borderline in between. Um, but he was only in the Greek part, at least so far that I've seen. And uh, he baked this cake um, in, a, in a, a celebrity chef from Cyprus, uh, her kitchen. And so I want to tell you what it is. It's uh, the simplest cake. It's sort of like Catherine Hepburn's brownie mix, which you can basically do all in one pan and then just cook it. Um, this is similar. Um, it takes semolina flour, which you're gonna have to buy. You can go up to King Arthur or find it in your local market or whatever. You can go online and buy semolina flour, easy. Um, you're gonna need pistachios. You can buy those. It's better to have them uh, unroasted if you can because they're gonna be cooked again. Um, you need an orange or two because there's, there's grated orange in this and there's orange juice in this cake. Um, and there's one key ingredient, key ingredient, and that is Greek yogurt. And Greek yogurt, as you know, is a drier yogurt, and so you're gonna have to add a little water to it uh, to make it uh, liquid enough. Um, there, of course, there's sugar, um, and there's a little something in there that you might be afraid of called cumin. Um, I wouldn't be afraid of it. It blends nicely, um, and an anise. And I had no anise powder, powder, but I have an organic anise solution. Um, which, um, which I added to this particular cake. And it's just delicious. So normally in a baking show, they tell you what they're going to do, and then they go do it, and then they go to the oven, they open the oven, and there it is, and everybody has a bite. Instead, we're gonna do it differently. I'm gonna cut into this now, so you can see what it is. What it is. Uh, so I'm gonna cut down in here, and you can see the, the glistening, um, uh, simple syrup, orange simple syrup that's on top that the pistachios are adhering to. But I just want to take a taste of it. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. The great thing is the crunch of the pistachios up against this fine crumb of semolina with that anise background. I can't even taste the cumin really. It's delicious, it's fabulous, and it's so easy. You can do it, you can do it. Men, women, children, you can do this. I'm gonna show you in a moment. I'm gonna leave you now, and then we're gonna concentrate on what the ingredients are and how easy it is to mix them together. See you in a moment.